Welcome to Excel Basics number 10, part 3. And in video number 10, we talked about the filter feature. In this video, I want to do a quick short about the filter array function. From the folder we downloaded and unzipped, for this video we're going to open up this file, Filter. Now in video number 10, we talked all about the amazing built-in filter feature. And we talked about the different logical tests we can use when filtering. But when you want your solution to update instantly, formulas are the only feature that does that. And we want to look at the filter function. Now we have two examples, and we're going to start with example two. I want to be able to select a sales rep and instantly get a list of the customers that that sales rep spoke to. Here's the data set. And if I change to Chantel, instantly I want the formula result to update. Now let's take a look at the formula we had to create before the filter function was invented. That was crazy. But now we have filter and in array, we're going to put a single column because we just want a filtered list of customers, comma, in the include argument. We need to create an array of trues and falses that has the exact number of rows as whatever the range is in array. Now, back in video 2, 5, and 6, we already learned how to create an array of true and false values called a Boolean array. It's simple. I'm simply going to highlight. Notice it has the same number of rows, and I'm going to ask the question, hey, which of you are equal to Chantel? If I hover, there's the column of trues and falses. And this is a single condition logical test. Control Enter, there's my filtered list. Let's check out Frank. So Frank talked to Apple and Straight Talk. Now in this example, we want to create a live filter based on the customer column. So in array, we'll add the column, comma, and whatever logical test you can dream up, you can build it into include. Now in video two and five, we did a lot of different Boolean logical tests. This test here is going to test for the customer, our last year sales greater than a million bucks, or is the credit rating greater than or equal to four? To create the OR logical test, we put the first logical test inside of parentheses. We're highlighting this column, same number of rows as customer, and we're asking the question, are any of you greater than one million? Now we close parentheses, and for an OR logical test, we need one or more trues. So the math operator you use is plus. Open parentheses. Second test, how many of you are greater than or equal to four? Close, close, and now when I control enter, there's my live dynamic filtered list of customers. If I change this to three million, well, just QFC is going to get the credit. If I change this to 4.5, control enter, rather than getting a calc error from an empty filter, F2, we can use comma, if empty. I'm going to put something like none. And that's much better than the calc error. If I change this back to four, there's QFC. Back to a million, I get all four customers. Now, F2, as we learned about in great detail in video five, when you want to do an and logical test, that means I need both trues. I need a true here and here. We use multiplication. No customers. For an OR logical test, we got a true. This was a false, but all we needed is one or more true. But that doesn't work for and. This one doesn't either. True, false, true, false, and true, false. If we change this to four, now we get one customer because we get true, true. All right, the filter function, we get to add this to our data analysis Excel toolkit. Anytime we want a dynamic filter, especially when based on conditions from the cells, filter comes to the rescue.